see, I love, I love, I love, I love, I don't want it to stop, really. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, it's the Bloom. So what are we calling this? Coffee morning chat? Artists on tour? <laughs> All of the, above. of the above. Yes. Brilliant. Excellent. Morning everybody and welcome. Well, as you know, the main thing we're here for is to talk about the Bloom Show, which is starting tomorrow. It's not just this weekend, it starts tomorrow. Yay! First show tomorrow night, which... Now, this is where I get confused, which is that's in the UK and Europe. But when it comes to New Zealand and Australia, that's Saturday morning, isn't it? I believe I so. Yes, I, you see, yes. You, there was a gap there. You weren't sure. but it... <laughs> I'm, leaving, I'm leaving that to the people who know. I'm not going to okay. add some confusion on that so one. Just, but, just want to make uh, sure, because yeah, yeah. everyone knows we're very global in our um, in our group. We've got New Zealand, Australia. Italy, UK, well, I should say England and Scotland. Um, so yeah, we have to across the globe. So we have to hit all the um, all the time zones, which we try very hard to do. And that's why we have, from our time zone point of view, a Friday night, a Saturday morning, and a Saturday night, so that we hit everybody. But the amazing thing oh, about yes, the blues, time buddy. <laughs> yes, time buddy, yeah, get your time buddy out. It's my lifesaver. Yeah, I should have got shares in it really, to be honest. But I keep telling everybody <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, so yes, um, we are an online, and I keep saying this year, interactive art show, because it is really interactive, isn't it? You can actually be as involved or not as you want, because you decide which rooms you're going in, you go into the show real room and find out about the artists, move between the rooms, talk to the artists or not. You could have, like us here, have our video on and be, you know, out there or just think bad hair day, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes, yes, we have had people arrive in bed. It's, that's fine. Yes. <laughs> Turn your video cool. off. We can yeah. still hear. Um, and we have the chat facilities and things. And obviously, we have our show reel running. So that, um, and we have an awful lot of information about all of this on our Facebook pages, on our Instagram pages, and our LinkedIn pages. So you know, it's all the Blooms Art House, or even just go to the Blooms. .co.uk and that's all below so we don't have to keep remembering the website thank goodness from my point of view and also the dates which I will always, always get wrong but at least I can just say it's tomorrow now <laughs> so the point of today is so that everybody can get to know all of us a little bit better and our art and what they can come and find out about this weekend and beyond because obviously we exist beyond this weekend we're not just artists for the weekend so I'm, I'm going to play around and put people in um, the hot seat, if I get it right. Um, and I'm going to go initially to Julie, um, who is an encaustic wax artist. It would be lovely if you could tell us a bit more. And obviously, we'll just dive in with questions as well, because it's amazing. Let me see if I can put you in the spotlight. There you go. There we go. Take it away. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this show. So this will be the fourth, yeah, first year anniversary, fourth time we've done it, and I just think it gets better and better each time. It's so much fun, um, and you just get such interesting questions that come up. So I paint with beeswax, which is a very unusual medium to paint with. Um, it's called encaustic painting because it's I paint with hot molten wax. So I manipulate it whilst it's in its hot molten form. And then as it cools, it settles into its final resting place, if you like. So, um, yeah, that kind of that brings up all sorts of questions in itself. Um, but, yeah, my paint, my pa I've got a, I've got a, some brand new paintings this time that I've never people have never, ever seen before. Um, and I'm bringing for this show, I'm bringing some of my my encaustic pieces on paper, which I haven't brought many of those to the show previously. Um, so but all still very intuitively led i just kind of i just get this feeling when it's done i kind of start off with a rough idea of what's what's going to come out on the paper and then it just kind of it just flows and then it's just like yeah done. So do you have and, anything in your mind do you have a thought in your mind when you start or do you just completely go with the flow yeah no i'm i'm drawn to colors and I cut shapes and i kind of start off with that and then sort of through the process it's like oh that needs and then often i'll just my eyes will just fall on another color and i'm like oh that right yeah that's what i need to do next and it's it's almost like a 
sometimes you know if I'm doing a portrait of copying something not copying but you know I've got something in mind I've, I have I kind of have a bit of an end goal in mind but I still like to have that I like to work with that intuitive aspect mm. because I, when I try to do something myself it doesn't come out nearly as well and then I just right. go with the flow basically and let it let it happen so uh, but yeah you just get these amazing just the colors and the oh they just I don't know I'm a bit biased because I love the medium. For me, it just holds an absolute special magic that, personally, I don't find with other mediums. But you know, that's that's just my thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just and just the you know, kind of that hot melted chocolate kind of the way that you know, if you're cooking, you get that lovely like it's, it, it kind of goes on like that, and just the, the tactile nature of it, just everything about it, it's hot and glossy and shiny, and love it. So it's yes, that's what how you with. find your medium, though, isn't it? Like that excites you. You can see you. You light up when you talk about yeah. it, and I love that yeah. about artists when they find their medium. And it's like you're yeah. like, I'm incredibly biased. Yes, you are. Of course, you are, and so you should be. <laughs> it's like absolutely. I, I just saw one. I, I saw a painting. It must be about ten years ago now. I was at an exhibition, and it just stopped me in my tracks. And you know, pieces of art sometimes just they just have that impact on you. And I thought, like, I've got to find out what that is. And I've not, got, I mean, I've got every medium under the sun upstairs in my studio, but that's the only, I mean, with the layered pieces, you can actually incorporate a lot of your existing art materials within the layers, which is really good. Um, mm. Pretty much most things apart from acrylic, really, acrylic and wax don't mix, oh, mix yeah. don't mix at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of the others do, but, um, but yeah, just, there's something about the wax. I just, it's just, yeah as me so yes so hence that's what I've stuck with for the last 10 years and uh, run countless you know I've taught people I've done demonstrations talks mm -hmm. I've just it's been lovely sharing it with so many people and it's such a it's a very underknown medium in the UK mm -hmm. particularly so mm -hmm. it's good to kind of share that with more people it's such a joy to share it as well isn't it it's that yeah I love it yeah and everyone's like encaustic what <laughs> you know, so the first turtle is explaining what that means. It's not the wax that's encaustic; it's the it's the process of heating the wax that makes it encaustic. So there's an explanation thing there, but it's yeah. Once people see it and discover it and get over the fact that no, it's not going to run down your wall. You know, that's the first question that everybody. Uh, yeah. Will it melt? And, yeah. uh, you know, it's got a very high melting point. The particular waxes that I use, so uh, yeah, it's not going to. You know, don't panic. It's not going to be running down your walls. So, Fantastic. And yeah. the. The pieces behind you are all very sort of like abstract or landscapes and that, but you have done portraits, haven't you? Yep, yep. So I've got a couple of portraits that I'm sneaking in a bit further down the line. <laughs> I can't stick too many things. So I've just got these particular small ones on my display board behind me, but I've got yeah. some others that will be on my show reel. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can pull them out and kind of show people um, as I go. I haven't actually got exact ones to hand at the moment i'm still setting up underneath um so yeah but yeah so these are sort of very yeah abstract and sort of landscape type so these are the ones on paper that i was saying about so these particular ones need to be framed uh -huh. um to keep the the paper straight but right. often i'll do them I'll give this as an example but often i will paint them on a this one that's well it's finished i haven't taken the edging off yet um but on a wooden board and they'll uh -huh. often have a like a deep or you know a wooden board on yeah. which way go. so they'll this is one I did in. They're like ready to hang the moment you. Yeah, you just literally pop them on the wall. So I mean, again, this is an abstract. This is actually for a project I'm working on with some people in the states. But um, but it gives you an example of the this one I've got to hand. But that yeah, you literally just hang that on the wall as is. Um, oh, you can add a frame if you want to. Um, so yeah, so I'll have more of those around that I can kind of do, you know do that at the show and kind of show you mm. pieces. So as the show reel's going around, you can say, oh, can I see that one? And I'll go. <laughs> so, uh, or I can it's take any of these <laughs> down off. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Take any of these off the behind me. You, so. Fabulous. You were you were um mentioning that it's really hard to photograph your encaustic work. What's oh, the difference yeah. between a photograph and actually seeing it in person? Oh, the amount of people that I mean they love it on the they you know they obviously get attracted and often though people say it just spoke to me I had to have it so that's that's really lovely when that happens but often when they see it they're like oh my goodness it's even better in person and it's just I don't it just doesn't seem it does photograph but you there are so many nuances with the light it changes throughout the day mm -hmm. you know I can be here now I've got you know it's daylight come the evening they'll look completely different again 
Um, and, you know, if you kind of, often you'll come in and the sunshine will shine through and you just, they almost kind of go like a luminous color, some some of the colors. Um, and they just, they just catch your eye at different times in different ways. And it is mm. just impossible to yeah, you couldn't that in a single image. Versions of it across. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're all beautiful, they, but they, yeah, they, they just, they almost kind of have a life of their own. I think because it's a, a natural, organic material that I'm working with. Um, it, yeah, they just, they, yeah. Okay. Like so I'll tell you who's. Let me just tell you who's listening. Sorry, Mac. Um, so we've got Sammy, Steve, and Fiona who are um, listening away. So um, all say good morning, and Steve, who is our Bosley at the show as well, of course. And he says, "Oh, what's that behind Julie? Oh, that's her art at last." Because your um, little thirty-second intro, you didn't have any of your art behind. <laughs> It's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> I was telling about that, yeah. yeah, we were talking about it. Oh, the first ever show a year ago. So a year ago, we um, I was at my old studio then, and I must have spent uh, all day trying to set my backdrop up to make it look right because we had to get this thirty second. The thirty second intro clip needs to be done. Well, I don't know, is it two three weeks ahead of the show? Um, yeah, yeah. To give definitely time to do all her magic with the, the video clip. And I was looking back through my photos the other day and it took me, no lie, I counted them, there were 20 takes to get my 30 second clip done. Yeah. And everyone is like, <laughs> I just, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, I messed up my words at some point and it was retake, retake. Well, I should do a, a, an outtakes clip of mm. it really because it was <laughs> some of the best bits. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it took me two days to do one 30 second clip practically, or you know, certainly a day anyway, might be a bit of an exaggeration. And then this one, it was like, no, that's it, right? Okay, handheld. Yes. <laughs> By the time of the exhibition, I will have art behind me. <laughs> we said, I will have a proper stand. I will have art yeah. behind me. Come yeah. and see me. My room is fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. It's, it's, you know, that's, uh, yeah, it's just fun. So, um, yeah. yeah. It's funny how things change within a year. You have to kind of go from being absolutely perfect to, do you know what? This, but that's the nature of the show, isn't it? It's fun, it's friendly, it's informal, and there you go. And I always manage to uh, get it. It's always there by the time of the show. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, skinny your teeth, they call it. Yeah, they? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's um, have a little chat with Mac, shall we? Yes. Um, yeah. Into the live, like yes. Woo. So. Uh, Mac, so tell us about your art and also what you're going to have at the show. Okay, well, my art has been made with chewed gum. And yes, you heard that correctly, <laughs> chewed gum. Unusual, but... <laughs> unusual. I don't made these pieces with other materials. Sometimes it's plastic, sometimes it's made in a mould, sometimes it isn't. It just depends on what, what I'm doing or the concept I'm working on. But the reason why I chose chewed gum is that I was bed bound for a long time and I was unable to speak, write or draw. And as an artist, that is kind of like hell. Um, so in my mind, I began to create um, installations. When I became well enough to research it, um, well, actually, I've, I need to backtrack because the doctor came and I remember her saying to my husband, is she chewing? And at that time I was and I thought, oh, there's a connection there. So I actually found out about that. And um, apparently chewing is really good for developing of speech. But not only that, it's about developing cognitive function. So the act of chewing gum is one to enable me to think much more clearly and quicker mm. and be able to express myself but as many people know from coronavirus that we've had restrictions imposed upon us and somehow we are all here now and we have found our resilience and it's how you do that and valuing it and very much my work is about that but about much more as well Excellent. Oh, what do you do at the show? <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, yeah, I'm 
pondering the question or asking the question, what are the links between Harry's tweet, a snowball, chewed gum, and a blue butterfly? And through exploring that, I will be showing you some underlying themes or connections that are um, are involved in my thinking process and my work. But I'll also be doing one card oracle card readings, angel oracle card readings, with an opportunity to have a more in-depth angel spread uh, for a donation to charity. And, and that would be arranged after the show rather than that the show. That would be arranged yeah. after the show. Yeah. So the yeah. one card reading will be during the show. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So um, going back to your um, art, Mac, what always amazes me is, I mean, so much thought, um, so much of you goes into your work and your process, which is obviously a very long process because of the two gum and getting it to like consistency and then being able to um, mould it and everything. But what then fascinates me is that when you produce your work, you're happy to just leave that out there and have someone have their own thoughts about it and not necessarily know no. all that. Even though you've put no. all that into it, you're just, no. you, know, you no. take how you want it yeah oh, absolutely um and 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 i think the essence of each work i think brings a spark which is in, interpreted in an individual's way so how mm. people interpret it is is up to them but there's something about that work that connects the artist the medium and and the person who's viewing it right or there to be a communication i think because i think it's hard to to communicate with something you don't resonate with in some way. Sure, yeah. But it's it's just, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I was, the reason we discussed this before, because I was saying I'm very much someone who, when I go and see a piece of art, whilst I like to put my own interpretation, I, I do like to know what the story was before or what went into it, even if I think, no, don't see that. What I see is this, but it's like, it's almost, that's a part of the, but it's just really interesting how we all, come to our art in a different way and what we then you know it goes on and the con but i always think also with you is you love the discussion don't you you love the whole conversation about it and i do yeah I do. yeah always thought provoking and all of your pieces that have your installations and everything you always go wow okay now i need to think about that and that's deliberate on your part isn't it i just i always that's think she's done it again <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. So I love that. Love that. Um, I always find the medium as well with, you know, you start off and it's like gum, but then when you hear the story behind why you've chosen gum to put it, you know, and it's just like, wow, okay. And like you say, that then kind of gets the cogs wearing and makes you just you come from a completely different viewpoint. So Yeah. It suddenly makes sense, doesn't it? That you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, and you did your um, angel card readings at the last Bloom show, and they were very popular, weren't they? Which is why they I were. Them. Yes. But, um, yeah. but you're, as I say, that's why you're doing this. It's one card, isn't it? And actually, it's at the show card. for people, and then if they love it, they can um, arrange along the term. Yeah. Brilliant. But you also have your show reel, which explains an awful lot, so people can come along, watch your show reel, and either ask you more about it or just go away that's the, actually that's also a lovely thing about because at the show we actually have the chill out room people can even watch a show reel go away and think about it and think hang on a sec i need to ask them about that. and then they can come back yeah. in and go yeah now i've been thinking about that what does that mean or what does this mean because as i say i always think your work is that kind of thought provoking and they have that opportunity to do that so yeah well, i'm just looking down the comments now to see Oh, Sammy. So Sammy says, girls, since the creation of the blooms, has the way you create your art or view your art changed? Now, this is interesting, isn't it? Because we were actually saying about this. Let me put us um, all back up. And we were saying about this. So um, so over to you, Julie. <laughs> we were literally talking about the exact thing just before the show between the three of us and just saying how within a year, how much we've all changed and evolved and like our 
you know, our art has grown and, and it's lovely seeing each of us individually. We're all kind of going in our own directions. Mm. So back you with the, the angel readings and the Akashic records, we've recently become qualified in. Um, Cindy's been doing the, she's kind of gone down, well, she's also done this, um, that certification as well, I believe, mm. and spirit animal side. And, you know, Stephanie, you've been doing, you know, a diff, another program, haven't you? Mediums and things into my yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've, we've all kind of been growing out, but we all still get together more or less every week, every couple of weeks mm. anyway, and just kind of mm. have a little catch up with each other. And um, it's been, just been fascinating how much over the course of the year we've all kind of grown and expanded over that year. So, yeah, that's exactly... And I do think we feed off each other as well. But definitely. Um, we did actually do a, a proper review of each other um how we feel each other's work because sometimes you can be a bit insular about your own work and how you describe your own work and it yeah. was just really fascinating to see what everybody else thought about our art and what they even suggestions of we might try or not try which you know like all things people can say things to us and we can reject them or not but it's just really added to that whole oh yeah i can do that or even like the gold leaf thing which initially wasn't it yeah. i think Liz Chatterton originally was the gold leaf girl. <laughs> then Fiona kind of took it on and yes. put it a different way because Fiona puts the gold leaf on the canvas and then paints on it. Whereas I believe Liz does the painting and then adds the gold leaf. Yeah. And that, there was all these different um, mediums and ways where we all go, ooh. And when I was doing my hummingbird that time and I had to ask, Cindy had to keep giving me loads of, how, how is I going to get the shimmeriness from you know and things and it's we do yeah. get able to just feed off of Fiona's got excited because I've mentioned gold leaf I know <laughs> well that's why this isn't finished because I'm thinking of putting gold leaf down the sides of the edges of my paint so again just that one idea you use it in a different way but that's Ooh. what I love about the, yeah Ooh. everybody not necessarily artistically you know with it, just with sports, no, but, concepts, yeah. everything absolutely well yeah. I use silver in the hooves of my pegasus that's right yeah so yes, that yes. sort of thing i would never have dreamed initially because i was always like um i'm a fiber artist you know and i sculpt with fiber and i don't use anything else and you think why i don't know really i think i must have seen it written somewhere or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no <laughs> and that's the, also the thing is that we almost give each other permission to do whatever isn't it it's like yeah wh why would you restrict yourself like that why can't yeah. you say, oh yeah yeah oh okay and exactly. um so yeah it's just yeah it's an amazing opening of the floodgates almost of yeah we can do everything even if like sometimes you try things that you go no that didn't work well let's exactly. move that aside <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sharing that one with the world. <laughs> oh, God, which is hilarious. But, um, yeah, no, I just, I love that. I love that about, and that's also the feeling that we try and get across at the show as well, isn't it? That whole chatty, we love to talk about our art and share it. And whilst, you know, brilliant if someone comes along and says, oh, Julia, I feel inspired, I must buy that piece of, Art, but that's not the requirement of coming to the show it's for them to come and say tell me about that blue or can I see this and let me talk to you about what we do and why we do it and the fact that you know we we absolutely love what we do 100 yeah it's about sharing yeah sharing what yeah absolutely absolutely and um one of the things that when we were I'm gonna read something so Sammy's on isn't she these are actually Sammy's words if I can bring it up um, I was saying that we did a, a review of um, each other's art and the brilliant thing about Sammy is she writes essays what I mean this is also I love is a, a whole different approach so um, Julie you go well I'm just going to go with the flow me I've done so much research before I've even picked up a needle you know and, and stuff you know I've got skeletons I've got pictures I've studied the animal you name it I've named it probably you know and everything and then I get going, but that's, I think I have to do all that so I can then let it flow and then I can really get to know. And now what is amazing is Sammy wrote better about my process than I ever could. <laughs> so it's, that's what I love that she not only got me, but she got my process and then wrote it. So I'm gonna read what she said about um, what I do. 
So what she said is sculpture allows you to feel the form of what you are creating, to actually infiltrate every fiber of your creation with your own physical energies. And this is quite apt as these sculptures are created from various types of fibers, from natural wool, plant-based to man-made recycled plastics. The essence of each animal is recreated in the colors used that make you believe and in your spirit know that a lion, of course, would have a purple mane. Stephanie uses her intuitive senses to pick up on the spiritual side of the animals that she is sculpting, allowing her the freedom to follow their lead without stumbling over boundaries. For the spirit of the animal, boundaries do not exist. Each piece carries so much detail and hours of space. For it is not just the outer layer that is created with such precision, but the bone and the muscle structures. These magnificent creatures are crafted every time as if they were being made to enter the original Garden of Eden. Isn't that amazing? That is wonderful. So wonderful. I love the fact that number one, I could never have expressed that. <laughs> Sammy, yes. Sammy, can. I'm like, yes, yes, Sammy, that's what I do. So, you know, how brilliant that she was able to Sammy's get it. words, lady. Yeah, so, so, so there you go, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see your work in the spotlight, to be honest, um, Stephanie, and have a look at your Pegasus and your, your pride, your, your lion there, you're just talking about. Um. Can I just say as well, Steph, just quickly, yeah. Stephanie, what, uh, just when you moved back from the microphone, it was just a couple of times, it was quite hard to hear yeah. you. So maybe yeah. just, um, Let yeah. me see if I can move that microphone over a little bit. So yeah, it doesn't a little bit that. closer. It's me wobbling about a bit here, yeah. So no, that's see, fine. Yeah. But yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. better. I can see your Pegasus now in the background. Yes, so you can yeah. see them now, can't you? So this yeah. is the one with the silver silver hooves. Yeah. Let me... Is that right? And we're going to get a close up. Yeah. This is what it's like at the show. You can ask yes. a question and then we'll all come up and say, yes, look. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. 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 That's but, yeah. phenomenal. Fine gravity there. Oh. But solid silver by alchemy, because I've started calling myself the fibre alchemist. And um, I, it was after I started playing around with silver and um, moulding it and... Um, that is so starts, stunning. It starts off as clay and then you mould it. And I said, oh, like an al alchemist, a fibre alchemist. And then someone else was saying the other day I was about, you know, an alchemist of light. And I was thinking, I'm loving this word alchemist. It's fabulous, isn't it? About bringing things together and yeah. making them work. And, trans and transformation. Yeah. 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 So, Which um, is and so the sea turtle, a little thetis, bless him, has been bought. But I'm doing... Um, a uh, gecko to go with it, which will be ready because hopefully Val, who has bought uh, both pieces, is coming to the show. So I want to be able to go <laughs> show her at the show, which will be lovely. Um, yeah, that's one th also a really nice thing about the show is that you can have your collectors come along and actually you can really do the whole because yeah. like they're in America and places, aren't they? So it's not like we can just pop next door and see them and show them all over the world. Things. Yeah, yeah. But if, even if you're new and not current collectors and just want to find out about it and still exactly. you know, want to see them up close, that's good too. <laughs> I well, how are you going from a ball of wool to, or a bulb of fibre to that is just, I mean... It's funny, isn't it? Because you were saying about medium and that you saw um, a, a painting and thought, oh my God, I'm, give me some of that. And I was yeah. the same. I saw a sculpture and thought, what on earth is that? I just couldn't even work out. And, you know, this thing said needle felting. And like you, it's quite a new um, med. I mean, felting has been around for years, but needle felting is from the industrial age and sculpting like we do is like the 1980s. So it's still relatively new. So you're like, because it's not a needle either that you use. I mean, it's completely bizarre. It's a ridiculous thing to call it needle felting. when You don't use a needle really, but there you go. But it's, I've always loved sculpture, the whole 3D. And mm. I think um, I could never draw, but it was always 2D. And of course, I was an interior designer where I could actually visualize rooms in 3D. And you think, I still haven't quite grasped the connection until I saw 
those animal sculptures and you went that's what I want to be able to do and that's yeah. it we're in and it's like yes the textures and all the different and of course since then I found out so many different fibers and so many different textures and I do have that part about my personality where I do love to study things but then just go with it you know I yeah. have two I was saying I've got the I was an accountant and an IT professional but equally an interior designer and artist I definitely have those two sides to my so I, I'm mm -hmm. able to do that because I can do all the studying all the things and then just go, yes, and go. <laughs> yes, yeah. And create, yeah. But but still, there's all those details inside, which I do love, yeah. Wow. Because even down to Thetis, you used a different fibre. Mm. So Thetis, because I originally did Thetis for a competition um, uh, um, with regards to, I'm trying to think, the David Shepherd Wildlife Foundation. And um, because sea turtles, obviously plastics and everything, and I found this fantastic fibre, which is made of recycled plastics. And I thought, how apt. Yes. If the centre, the whole of the core of Thetis is recycled plastic it's bottles. Plastic. Um, and it, the thing is, it felted um, hard as nails, which is brilliant for the sea turtle and the, um, and the shell and everything. So um, I can use it in other sculptures if I want something really, really um, rock hard. But... It was just brilliant. And also all of the colours are plant-based fibres on Thetis. Just, it, there's been a lot in the felting world about the fact that, you know, you can't use this and you can't use that. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can use anything, mm -hmm. you know, so far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. I think yeah. that in lots of different mediums that kind of go, you could only do this or you can only do that. Or to be a painting to be good, it needs to be this. And it's yeah. like... yeah. Or it's the, that's not real felting. Yeah, whatever. Oh, exactly. exactly. <laughs> that word can't is like a red rag to a bull, isn't it? Yeah. I'll show you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not allowed to do that. Oh, watch me. That's the red artist. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, hilarious. I love it. I love it. No, but, I, that's, but that is the joy of the meeting up with everybody you just say it's like on a week well not all of us meet up on a weekly basis because some of us are doing something else but we always have a group of us meeting up don't we and yeah. if ever anybody's like stumbling or going oh, I have no idea where I'm going at the moment and it's funny how once you've actually talked it through you yeah. go oh I did know where I was going I just needed to express it you know around people who you feel safe with yeah and that's the thing isn't it that we can just talk endlessly knowing because we all, um, well, come from different countries, different walks of life. But, you know, the thing that we um, absolutely have in common is art. But, I mean, before I met you guys, I didn't even call myself an artist. So, you know, yeah. how we've changed. What's Sammy saying here? Sammy's saying, some people are scared of change, but the blooms are here to push the boundaries and never say never. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so right, Sammy so right <laughs> yeah no we are we are and and the same and the same with the show as in the show that we do is quite different isn't it the way we've set it up um and I know I always say whenever I say the word zoom I don't I feel like people are just going to turn off the moment you say it's on zoom they go oh. no it's it's the blooms zoom which is different you know we it's not a case of just coming in and watching like on a webinar or waiting till you put your hand up, you know, in meetings like you do. Yeah. You, you actually decide where you move around and what you see and what you do and whether you have your video on or not. You know, there's no one there saying you must have your video on or, you know, you must be muted or there's none of that. Is that you just do what you I want think to do. That's the other thing to explain. It's not like now where you've got the three of us in our studios mm -hmm. together. You, as a, as a visitor, you actually have controls to go and visit Matt's room, go yeah. and chat individually. Well, I say individually, there might be other pe other visitors in the room at the same time. Um, but you can also see how many people are in a room at the same time. So you can actually think, oh, that room's quite busy. I'll go and see what's going on in there. And then I might, might not need to chat very much. Or yeah. you could say, oh, there's, there's nobody in with that artist. I'll go and visit that artist. And then we can have a conversation one-to-one. Yeah. -one. And, you know, you choose what works for you. And then once yeah. you finished in Max's room and had your annual reading and or just discovered more about her art, you then think, right, I'm off to see Stephanie now. Yeah. And then you go off and, and you'll see Stephanie show you and, and the background and have that opportunity to. But you, it's like it's like going to a shopping mall and kind of, right, I think I'm going for that <laughs> yeah. now. Absolutely. And I think also one of the things that like when you go to a gallery, 
I've certainly felt this, which is, you know, you go into a space where there's just the artist. And of course, the artist is being friendly and comes over and says hello. And you yes. think you've got you've walked into the space and you suddenly realise this isn't your kind of art. <laughs> but you now feel the need to stay and talk to them about their art because you don't want to be rude. And, you know, and you're all, all the time you're just thinking, at what point can I actually just say, that's lovely, I'm going to move on now. And I always want to say, well, the thing is, in the Bloom show, I people don't get that because you can come into the room and say, oh, I'm just going to watch the, um, the showreel because next to us, much bigger is our showreel. And this has happened several times at the show where someone's just watched the showreel and then said, oh, thank you very much, and then left. Perfect. You've seen what I'm about make your decision whether you want to find out more or whether actually some people just go around watch all the show reels and then decide who they want to go back to and, and other people love to talk endless with 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 people and yeah. That, yeah. we're all different how we do it and you can do that and and not be made to feel like oh my god i've got to stay a bit longer <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's a click of a button, you know. It's like yeah. bit, we'd like you to say cheerio, thank you very much, yeah. and goodbye. But equally, <laughs> the heck out of you. all you got to do is press move. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah uh, absolutely. You know, on, Just, yeah. Oh, sorry, press the wrong button. Move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or ask to be moved if you're not quite yes. sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's um, well, actually, what's great now is that originally when we started, iPads were really difficult for people to negotiate around. But Zoom have actually upped the controls. And Steve, our Bosley, was saying that last time he had far less people having to keep coming back to him at reception so that he could move them or for us to because the controls were much easier for people to. But they can do that as well. I mean, even if they can't go to the next room, they can go back to Bosley and say, in fact people do this they like steve to choose where they go yeah. they go i don't want to make a decision just and he'll look yeah. and think well do you want to go somewhere busy or not busy and then he'll decide for them and put them in so you you know you can have that have your decisions made for you <laughs> or make your own decisions who whatever personality type you are absolutely but we can move people to different rooms as well on their behalf now, can't yes. we, as well? That's another yes. function. So you could be talking to us and say, right, I'm ready to go. Who should, who do you recommend? And it's like, yeah. well, you know, fancy a bit of, you know, gold leaf or let's send you to Fiona, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I quite like that, actually, when people ask me. And I think, yeah. what yeah. do you like? Let me tell you. Like yeah. a trail. What should we do? Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you need to go and see next. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. So right, Sammy again. Um, she says, you will never get the opportunity to speak to artists at a live gallery situation as you can with the blooms. Well, that's true. Because, is, yes. you know, at a gallery either, you know, you just can't get close to the artist. Or, well, mainly, you know, they're protected. Well, at a normal gallery, the artist won't even be there, will they? It's more... Um, what do you call it, the opening night when artists are actually there, so you can go and speak That's to them. Right. But on opening night, they're more likely to be... Um, well, I say I was going to say that, like it wasn't going to happen at our show. I was going to say they're more likely to be drinking champagne, but we do do that. We do drink champagne, don't we? Oh, crikey, yeah. Bring your drinks and snacks along. Oh, look, I love that. As I'm talking to you, someone's just got a ticket to go to the show. Isn't that nice? I love it. <laughs> Ticket purchase. And, and they're free, but I always say purchased, but they're free. Yeah. And it's our first anniversary year. Yes. Our anniversary show. Woo! Lots to celebrate. Yeah. Which is new fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Really looking forward to it. Really yeah. looking forward to it. And we always have our own little after show party on the Saturday night, but you know. <laughs> Just saying. I loved that photo I snapped. It was one, literally, it could have been a caption competition. We had the rehearsal last weekend and we were all sitting in one room together having a chat. <laughs> and Max, because we were talking about having our yeah. champagne bubbles and whatever tipple of choice going on. Max face with her, I'm drinking water. Everybody else has got alcohol and, you know... Yeah, <laughs> so alcohol's not compulsory, but maybe no, 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 it's not. But it's just a, a few of us like bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it seems appropriate that you know bubbles and gin yeah. seem to be popular themes, don't they? Mm. So, yeah. 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 Bubbles and gin. Yeah. 
and, uh, and of course we're, we're drinking coffee on the Saturday morning show yes. yes. or uh, yes. having a party. Yeah. Well, that's the thing on the um, oh, on our um, Saturday morning. It's Saturday night in Australia and New Zealand. And the Australians always have a bit of a party going on in Cindy's room. And I know we go on and on about this, but it's hilarious. And the, I'll tell you what, this year, I'm, I'm going to gate crush it. Um, yes. If, all, if everybody's in there, so am I. Yeah. <laughs> Back in five minutes. Yeah, in five room. minutes up and I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were laughing. We've got the functionality to move them now, aren't we? We were saying we'll have to go. You know, the, the old um, chat of the the yeah, talent show. Well, you get the crook, and you be like, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we were going to say that each of us were going to pick on someone, weren't we? We were going to just pull them each one out to a different room, and they won't know what's happening. They just suddenly go, Vroom, and then suddenly there's nobody in Cindy's room, and she'll go, what the? Then we can pull them all back in again. Yeah, and put them all back in. A... Yeah. Then what you mean, Cindy? What do you mean? What yeah. happened? Well, uh, technical, technical glitch. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, you can tell us it's a very serious art show. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's all about it, isn't it? Having fun, yeah. enjoying. That's absolutely. what we do. We do what exactly. we do because we love it. So, exactly. yeah. Okay. So, right. So, we just need to remind people. As say, people are obviously getting the hang of it because I just saw a ticket. Um, be registered for as we were sitting here but um, just go on to um, theblooms.co.uk and there's a big red button at the top that says tickets click on there and you do pick a, um, a show but actually it's the same link for all of the shows so if you get one for Friday and think oh couldn't make it doesn't matter just turn up on Saturday and it's absolutely fine but um, just need to register so you can get the link basically and Bosley will be waiting for you when you arrive at the show and we'll tell you all about it and, you know, make sure you've got all the controls up so that you can then navigate around and have a great time. So anybody else got anything else they want to say before we disappear? No, no. I just look, look forward to seeing everybody at the yeah. show. 100%, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so bye everybody. See bye. ya. See you soon. <laughs>